I like how I'm still drunk. <laughs> Thespian? Oh no. No, no, no. Is it? Did you take it? It's all right if you did. You won't get in trouble. You must return it to me. No. You're not right. I'm looking for my father. The king was never meant for this. It has been this place temporarily. I'm sorry. Eternal life. Okay, I'm in some sort of library. I think I am too, actually. Hey, Peter. What are you doing? I've got some form of puzzle that I don't know how to solve. What do you got? I I have the same thing. I just took a creepy painting. I don't want it. Reasonable. I didn't know I could actually take it, and I don't know what to do with it. Do I put it here? What does the painting look like? Honestly, it looks like Rasputin. There's a frame in my room that has an opening painting in it. I can rearrange pictures and I don't know why. I see. What have you found that you can interact with? I'm holding three different things, and this cuckoo clock keeps going off every time something. What are the things you're holding? I am holding a box, a, a, a timer sand thing, and a, a record like player. Okay, I think I have those things in my room as well. Sand timer. There's a book. There's a book in my clock. I just found a painting that has writing on it. And and then under it says Vader God Verder. Is the painting does the painting look like Rasputin? Uh sure, it's got a person on it. Are the letters E S P I A N? It says N-E-P-I-A-S. The same letters, different order. Okay. What does that mean? And also in my room, like the objects I'm holding, there are different spots in the room that are shining where I can place them. Okay, well then, try placing them where they are in my room. I don't know where they are in your room. I'm about to tell you. Can you move yours? I cannot, but I do have the items you described. I also now have a globe, just so you are aware. Is there a fireplace in your room? 
Yes, yes there is. Can you put the hourglass on the left side of the mantle of it? Okay, done. And my globe is on a chair right beside it. Okay. The record player is on a table by the stairs. Is on a the record player is on a table by the stairs. A dresser, I guess, because there are drawers, but right by the stairs. Uh, right or left side? Right side. Okay, what do I do with the metal box? Does it have a f four, like, on a dice on the box? I can't tell. What can you tell me about the box? It's, it's like a box and it has metal corners and metal in each of its center. And the rest is all wood. Okay, so go up the stairs. It's on a bench to the left of the desk. Frick. Okay, something just opened. I got a book with an S on it. I did as well. I can't open. But what does it mean? Do you have paintings of strange animals? Yes, I do. And I also have different, like, painting, like, wall things where I can, like, it says operate. Click on them. It's four squares on each. Well, let's do the paintings first, because I have paintings. Tell me where they are in your room and I'll place them around. Okay, well, what paintings do you have? So I have a stork with a beak coming out of both ends and a snail shell with one eye. Okay, we'll start with that one. Copy that. Where does it go? Okay, so it's in the middle of the room. See where the windows are? Yeah, I've got four windows. Okay. It'll be on the middle, mine's on the middle window to the right in my room. There is no middle window when there's four. No, no, I mean like the middle right window. On an easel? Yep. Perfect, now I have a stork with one beak and a snail shell. Okay, that'll be on the upstairs in the back near the, like, a, a two tables. It's got me there. Now I've got a, a weasel, I think, or a rabbit with a snail shell on his head and wings. Okay, that'll be on the stairway. Wait. Wait. What'd you say the head looked like? A snail shell on the head with long ears. Okay, yeah, that that's the one in the just in the stairs. I've got a lot of slots on the stairs. Um it's on, if you're at the very top and you go down one, two, three steps, you'll be on the fourth step down. Look straight, that's where it should go. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, now I've got the lion in the chest, snail shell, looks like a demon. <laughs> Specify a little more. I, its head is facing its behind. I would say it has a camel head with a horn. Okay, does it have a tail? Um. Yes, it does. Is it like a weird, like, three hook shaped tail? Kind of looks like it's melting. 
Okay, it's back on the upstairs, and it'll be next to the bookshelf, like on the on the same wall where you put the last one on the stand. Copy that. And, and it's next to the bookshelf. Now I've got the same one as before, but without the snail shell on the head. So long ears, wing, and a tail biting itself. Okay, so it's... So there's no snail thing, you said? Correct, it's the one I put on the middle of the stairs, but without the snail shell on the head. Okay, that'll be next to the new peacock one that's on the weasel on the left. Not a weasel, you get what I mean. You were cutting out, where does it go? Okay, um, what's the thing called that you put paintings on? Oh, the easel. Yeah, so to the left of the easel. It'll be on the other side of the, like, the drawers. Okay, so I also have the picture of the dude, and then the other thing with the camel head lion but without a horn. Okay, so the camel head lion thing and the peacock that's biting its tail like that one picture, that'll go above the fireplace. So where does scary dude go? He goes next to the door and it should be above a name tag. Next to the door. I'm looking for a name tag. Door on the lower level? Like the entrance door. Oh, got it. I only... Uh, you did you put it in? Yeah, something changed. I heard it. I did as well. I don't know what, though. I've... Oh, yep, yeah, here it is. Does it have an N on it? Yes, sir. I also have paintings of flowers. Do you have those? Like, I have things on my wall with flowers on them. It's four different things I can, like, turn or... Uh, try adjusting one. Tell me which one you're adjusting, so I can go and look at it and see if anything changes on my side. Uh, the one on the upstairs. On the stairs or up the stairs? Up the stairs. Okay, uh, try interacting with it. You seeing anything? No, so that tells me that I have to get you to match what I have. Good to know. Cause... Oh! Wait a second. This is going to be tricky, you ready? Okay. Okay, so... Starting at the top left, in the very left corner you should have... The red flower that looks like hearts and an arrow with green... Um, pine needle looking... Leaves. Top left? Yeah, top left square and the top left of that square should have that. Okay, it already does. What about the next one? So to the right of it, just do it in reverse. So make sure the same flower is in the corner, just of the right picture. Okay, and then for the bottom right, it should also have the flowers, and the bottom left, it should also have the flowers. No, it's the opposite corner this time. Please, please tell me what it looks like then. So if you look at the two that you set correctly, and look at the opposite corner, so the bottom right of that square, that should now be in the bottom left of the bottom left square. That, that makes literally no sense. Do you mean just put it in the very corner of the painting then? 
Okay, let me describe the shape. It looks like cat ears. Okay. That that doesn't help. Okay, isolate the top left square of the four sections, okay? You see that? Top right or top left? I said top left. <laughs> So the top left of the bottom squares. No, no, no. Look at the one that you already set in the top left. Uh, you mean the flower one, right? Like the one that looks like hearts? Yes, the one you already set. Just look at that. Yeah, I'm looking at that. But you said cat ears. I'm telling you in a different way now. Please don't. You didn't get it the first way. I did! I understood the hearts, and I have them in the hearts already in the corner. Yes, I'm not changing the hearts. I'm going to use the previous example to show you where that shape should be on the next square. Okay, so for the top, the two squares in the top, each, the, the one on the left, top left corner should have the hearts one, and then on the one on the right, the top right corner should have the hearts. Yes, the top two are done. Okay, now let's go to the bottom left one. Yes, so you know those hearts? Yeah. Put it in the top right of the bottom left square. Okay, and then what about for the next one? Top left of the bottom right with the hearts. Okay, I did it. Okay, moving on to the one on the stairs. I'm there. Alright, so the one I'm going to describe to make this easiest is I'm going to describe the one that looks like a sun. If I say that, can you tell which one I mean? Like the one where it's, it looks like a beehive, basically. Yes, with like the flower petals coming off. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so top left square, the top left corner should have that beehive. Top left corner, the top left picture should have the beehive in the top left corner. Yes. Okay, now what about the top right? The beehive should be in the top right corner. Okay, now bottom left. Should be in the top right corner. And then the other one should be in the top left corner. Yes, same pattern as the previous one. Okay. Now we go to the one next to the clock, right? Yes, and this one is different. Okay, so I think I know what the best way to get you to get this is. Are you there? Yes. Align the pictures so that the flower in the center is complete. What? Okay, we'll go back to the way we did it before. Okay, see the one that looks like the V's? Like the really long turkey feet? Yeah, and then it's got like V's at the end of them? Yeah. Let's work with those ones. Okay, so for the top left one, put the V's in the top right corner. Top right, right? Yes. And the other one should be top left? Yes. Okay, now what about the bottom ones? So the bottom left one, put the V's in the top left corner. I got an E. Okay, I also got an E. E. Do you have candles in your room? Yeah, I have candles in my room. I can't do anything. I can operate the candles. Okay. You're going to have to tell me which candles are lit. 
Okay. I can only access the one in the center of the room with seven candles on it. Could not hear you. Do you want me to tell you which candles on the big, like the one with seven candles on it, which of the seven are lit? Yes. Okay, so I am looking at it where the stairs are behind it. Okay, I'm facing the same way. Okay, so the two candles on the left side, far left, both lit. Okay. Now the one in the middle, but to the right of the middle one. So the one right after the middle on the right side is lit. So are the two in between those not lit? Yeah, so the one, the two, so the middle one and the one that's in the middle to the left are not lit. Just, just number them one through seven, it'll be faster. Okay, so we'll start from, one was the very first one, two, so one and two are lit. Three and four are not, five is lit, six is not, seven is lit. I got an eye. Okay, got any more puzzles? Because I've got none. I do. Okay, what are they? This is the one I found first when I got in here, and I'm not sure how to beat it. What is it? So it's a, a book that tells me something about purple crystals. Like a purple crystal light thing? Yes. I have a book on that. So what can you press on this purple crystal? I can click on them. Like the five buttons that are around it? No, I can just click the crystal light. We'll stop clicking it. Walk towards a crystal. I'm at the crystal. Walk to another one. There's only one. I'm gonna reread the book, hold on. Is yours in the shape of a crystal or a sphere? Mine's in the shape of a sphere. I'm gonna walk to all the crystals in my room. Let me know if it changes at all. Approaching the first one now. Okay. There's only one crystal in my room. Yeah, I think it's a receiver. Did anything change when I approached the first one? Kind of lit up, I think. Yeah, it's lit right now. And I pushed and it went fine. Okay, so tell me what lights up when I approach it. I'm approaching the next crystal. Let me know if it lights. It's blinking really fast. It's blinking really, really fast. Okay, headed to another crystal. Let me know if it lights. It's blinking really fast. Added to the next one. Did it blink? No. How about now? I'll tell you when it blinks. Just nothing yet. There has to be another one. It's blinking, it's blinking, it's blinking. It, it, it was blinking for a second. It's blinking, it's blinking, it's blinking. It's like, never mind. So there's got to be one that I can't see. Yeah, I think so. It's, it just, it's blinking. It's blinking. Stop blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking, getting bright. Nope. Oh, it's getting brighter, brighter, bright. Stop. Brighter. It's gotta be near this table, but I don't see it. 
Check under the table. There are chairs in the way. Oh, I don't know. Check behind the table. It's getting faster. It's really, really fast. Re I think I got it. Yeah, you got it. Okay, it's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking really, really, really fast. Moving on to the last one. Blinking, 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 blinking. There we go. Okay, there's one more puzzle, and it's gotta be with the clock. I agree, because there's a book in the bottom of the clock. Can you do anything with the clock? Because I can't. What do you got to the right of your clock? My right? Like if you approach the clock from the right side. Oh, there's a thing that says operate. Okay, so I gotta make yours look like mine, maybe? What does it look like? It's how fast the thing in the middle beat. Does your clock make noise? Yeah, it does. What noise is it making? A banging noise? And then I can change the sound of it. Okay, so... Do you got ticks on your device? I I have ticks. I have Ooh. Okay, so I can change the sound of when the bird comes clocking out and then I can change how fast it beats and the sound it makes. Does your top dial have four ticks? Yeah, it does, and I change it to the fourth one. Move it to the third. Okay, what about the next one? Let's put it to the fourth, so there should be three on the left and two on the right. Okay, what's the next one? Right in the middle. It was wrong. Apparently. Okay, so, so, there's four ticks on the top one. Yes. Okay, and which one is it on? Is it on the third one, you said? Yeah, so it should be two on the left, one on the right, and it should, the third one should be in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what's the next one? So that's the one with, um, three on the left, two on the right, and the one in the middle, the fourth one. Yeah, okay, and then what's the third one? Three ticks, right? Yeah. On mine, it's right in the middle. Well, it's wrong. I know, I don't know why, though. Hey guys, guest on here. So, I wanted to explain a bit of what happened here. This took about 20 minutes of us working really, really hard to figure out. Uh, because we, we just weren't getting what the clock thing do. And normally, what I would do is I would just go through and I would edit around the parts that you don't need to see um, and still have it in the video except the problem is I am not very smart sometimes sometimes I just completely mess up so to actually solve the puzzle we had to cheat and by cheating I had to take a screenshot of what was on my screen and send it to Nick because he just wasn't understanding what I was telling him and we were both getting very frustrated so here's the problem to do that I had to stop my recording and I did. The problem with doing that is I never restarted my recording. We would go on to beat the game um, without recording the ending. So the next episode you will see is us redoing the ending, but unfortunately the save point we had to redo it from was after we had solved the clock puzzle. So here's the next problem. Why don't I just tell you how we solved the clock puzzle? Well, the problem is 
This particular video was recorded in early 2021. I am sitting here at the end of January 2022, and I can't for the life of me remember how to beat the clock puzzle. So if for any reason you are watching this as a walkthrough to try and complete the game, I am sorry. You're going to have to look at the clock puzzle solution somewhere else or Google search it. Um, and I, I do apologize for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video as this is going to wrap up this video because there's no point in having you watch us do nothing. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and comment on how stupid I am. Uh, I, I'm very stupid. Um, check out the uh, Great Movie Ride podcast on YouTube wherever your podcasts at. And also, uh, we stream on Twitch on Sundays um, at the Gmail Squad Presents on Twitch. So please check that out as well. And that's going to do it for Gaston, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye now.